In this video I'm going to consider a couple of simplifications that make it easier to do ultrasound physics problems in a shorter time. Um, so the first one is the idea of distance equals 0.77 times the round trip time. Okay. And so what this says is if you know the time it takes for an impulse to go out from the transducer and return in microseconds, um, you can just multiply by 0.77 and it will give you your distance to the reflector in millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to uh, look at how this they come up with this simplification. The other one I'm going to look at is the idea that um, of 13 microseconds per centimeter. Okay, and so um, that means that a sound that is transmitted and comes back, it'll take 13 microseconds uh, to reach a reflector's e1 centimeter away, and this can also be used um, to figure out uh, the time it takes for a reflection to return from a surface. Okay, first of all, let's look at this first simplification, and if I look at the speed of sound in a uh, soft tissue, and both of these will apply only to soft tissue, so the distance is, remember, round trip distance divided by the time, and that's going to be a, a round trip time. And um, so if I look at this, what I need here is I want to figure out how. Uh, what to multiply these, you want to come up with this formula right here. And so if I multiply both sides by the round trip time, um, I'll have that. Now I want to have the distance to the reflector which is given as one way distance. So instead of uh, that in this formula, I have round trip distance. So I've got to realize that d, uh, the round trip distance, is twice the distance to the reflector. Okay, And so I can replace that, uh, this round trip distance, with 2 times d. So if I do that, um, I have 2 times d equals the uh, s the speed of propagation, in this case in soft tissue, times the round trip time. And uh, then I can divide both sides by 2, which cancels there. So my distance to the reflector is equal to the speed in soft tissue, which is 1.54 millimeters per microsecond divided by 2 times the round trip time. Okay, and so this comes out to be um, the distance is equal to 0 0.77 times time. Remember that's round trip time. And so if we give, and the units work out so that if this is in the units of microseconds, the answer will be expressed in units of millimeters. Uh, so let's look at an example of this. Let's say that I have a uh, a signal that returns um, 35 uh, microseconds after it was emitted from the transducer, um, all I have to do is multiply by 0.77 and I can figure out the distance away that the reflection was. So 35 
times 0.77 equals um, 27 and since my answer I put in microseconds this formula is set up to give you an answer in millimeters okay if you needed centimeters you'd have to move the decimal place over one place to get uh, 2.7 centimeters All right. The next formula I want to look at, and I think I will um, erase some of this stuff so I have a little more room here. The next one I want to look at is the idea of this rule for 13 microseconds per centimeter. So I'm just going to erase th some of this other stuff. Let's look at that one. Okay, so let's look at where this one comes from. So again, we have uh, soft tissue, and if I think about um, an impulse traveling down one centimeter and then coming back, Um, and seeing how long uh, that will take. So if I look at speed again as being equal to um, the round trip distance divided by uh, time and it's round trip time, then um, the, the one-way distance is one centimeter um, and so the round trip distance is two times the one way distance, which is equal to two centimeters. And Um, what I'd like to do is figure out how many, how long it takes to travel that distance. So I'm going to rearrange this uh, this formula a little bit here. Um, so if I take my speed equal to, I'm going to just stick with this part of the formula for now. Two times the one-way distance divided by the round trip time. Um, if I multiply both sides by round trip time and then divide both sides by speed over here the, the times will cancel over here the speed will cancel and so now I have a new formula that says that the round trip time equals twice the one-way distance divided by speed and plugging in the uh, distance of one centimeter here um, that gives me two centimeters divided by 1.54 the speed of sound in soft tissue again is 1.54 millimeters per microsecond now um, since I have millimeters on the bottom and centimeter or on the denominator and centimeters in the numerator. I have to tr change that a little bit. And so if I change my um, numerator to be 20 millimeters, and then my denominator stays at 1.54 um, millimeters per microsecond. Uh, and I use a calculator to figure that out. Twenty divided by one point five four results in 
13 microseconds. So the time it takes for an echo to go down one centimeter and return is equal to 13 microseconds. So we uh, use we can use the rule 13 microseconds per centimeter. So it takes if the reflector is one centimeter away, it's going to take 13 microseconds for the echo to return. If uh, the, the sample is um, 2 centimeters away, it's going to take 26 microseconds. So let's look at this example where the reflector is 3 centimeters away. All I have to do is take um, add my rule of 13 microseconds per centimeter times uh, the distance in centimeters, and so that's um, 13 microseconds per centimeter uh, sorry, centimeter um, times, in this case, 3 centimeters, and so that's equal to 39 microseconds. So the time I would expect uh, it to take for a reflection to re return from this muscle tissue through the soft tissue um, if this distance were 3 centimeters would be 39 microseconds. So these are two um, handy uh, rules that can be used to quickly calculate uh, times and distances in uh, of an ultrasound pulse traveling in soft tissue.